thanks so much for sticking with us here at Live 5 News as we continue to track Debbie now back over water. Uh, Bill mentioned that earlier on this hour, but you can see we're seeing that rainfall move back on shore. So scattered showers just continuing overnight throughout the day tomorrow. Probably not as widespread or as active as what we saw last night or this morning, but still additional rainfall nonetheless. And of course, that's just going to add to that flooding potential. So once again, looking live outside into downtown, some fresh raindrops there on the screen at a high temperature today of 80 degrees, average high 91. So at least we're getting a break from the heat, but of course, we're trading that off for some flooding issues uh, and of course plenty of moisture out there so still very muggy so not a ton of relief actually when you factor that in right now live radar you can see that spin of Debbie this evening uh, really the center of the storm still offshore down to our south uh, we're trying to see a few showers kind of redevelop and move back on shore this evening and really this is the activity that we're going to expect over the next 24 hours or so so not as widespread as the rainfall that we picked up last night and also not quite as heavy. You can see those scattered showers in the parts of lower Charleston County, especially in the Colleton County, also Dorchester. Zooming out, you can see where the center of Debbie is this evening. Once again, just to our south and yes, we're still expecting this system to make another landfall along our coastline. So when exactly could we see that? Uh, check it out with our tropical tracker. It's our 11 o'clock update from the National Hurricane Center, and you can see how slow Debbie is. The earlier update was three mile per hour speed. Now we're at five, so a little bit of an increase, but barely. And once again, like I mentioned, expecting that landfall most likely late tomorrow night, early Thursday morning. Uh, so most likely while we're sleeping tomorrow night, actually, as we head on into our Thursday, the system will track north really well out of South Carolina. Carolina, and then we'll really start to improve toward the end of the week. But just getting there in the meantime, that's when we'll see those showers continue to spin on shore. We've already seen a few uh, downpours here or there late this evening move on shore. We had that nice dry uh, period of time when we all had a break from the rainfall today, but showers will really start to amp back up. You can see our model here showing just that uh, by 10 a.m. Once again, this is going to depend on where the center of Debbie actually ends up. Uh, at this hour, but you can see some of those outer bands moving back on shore here throughout the morning into the afternoon. That's also when we could pick up additional heavier rainfall. Also, the question is once these bands wrap back around, will they hold on long enough over land to move back into uh, the low country, especially in those spots that have already seen flooding? So we're just continuing to monitor this a very interesting slow moving storm as we track this Thursday. Like I mentioned, the system starts to break away from the area and then really most of this tropical moisture should be out of here, especially by late Friday. So top three impacts mentioning this once again, rainfall amounts anywhere from four to six inches and really those amounts will start to go down as we move throughout the overnight and throughout the day tomorrow. Also some gusty wind. Don't be surprised if you uh, start to feel or even hear some gusty wind outside really as the center of the system moves closer to the area around 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts. Uh, local Ice flooding still the main threat there as we see this additional rainfall. So once again, still a good time to stay indoors, continue to do that even though we're seeing slightly improving conditions. We still have that flooding threat because of any additional rainfall that will pick up throughout the day on Wednesday. Improving by the weekend though, we are back to normal, back to normal summer conditions, I should say. High temperatures in the 90s, slight storm and rain chances into the afternoons.